What if I told you you could get a red card without kicking the ball? Or you could start a game without 11 players? These are seven football rules you didn't know existed. And at first, yellow card for an illegal celebration. This is a new rule that was introduced in the 2019 to 20 season. It means that if you score a goal and celebrate in a forbidden way, like taking off your shirt, and then the VAR review says your goal is invalid, you will still get a booking for your celebration. The rule makers say this is because the celebration has the same effect as if the goal was valid. So be careful how you celebrate, or you might end up with a yellow card and no goal. If you didn't know this rule, wait till you hear this next one. What if you get a red card before the game even begins? This is possible according to a rule that was added in the 2019 to 20 season. It means that the referee can send you off if you do something very bad or violent during the warm-up. For example, you could insult the referee or a player from the other team, or you could attack a fan like Patrice Evra did in 2017. This is a rule that you should never have to worry about. As long as you behave well before and after the game starts, if you didn't know this rule, wait till you hear this next one. Do you know how many players you need to start a game? You might think that you need 11 players on each team, but actually, you can start with just seven players on the pitch. This is the minimum number of players required for the game to continue. If your team gets more than four red cards, the game will stop because you will have less than seven players left. This rule only applies to the players on the field, not the substitutes. They can get as many red cards as they want, but they won't affect the game. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have only seven players available, you can still play the game, but it won't be easy. But what happens if you score an own goal from a restart? You might think that it counts as a goal for the other team, but actually, it doesn't. This is a rule that applies to any kind of restart, such as a free kick, a corner kick, a goal kick, a throw-in, or a penalty kick. If you kick the ball into your own net without anyone else touching it, the goal is not valid and the other team gets a corner kick instead. So don't worry if you ever make this mistake. As embarrassing as it might be, the goal won't count. This is one of those rules that you probably won't see very often. But it's good to know. Did you know that a football player can say no to being substituted? Football is a team sport, and sometimes the coach wants to change the players on the pitch. The number of substitutes allowed has increased over the years, from three to five to seven to nine. The Premier League now lets teams use four of them in a match. Usually, the players accept the coach's decision and leave the field when their number is shown. But sometimes they don't. They can actually refuse to come off and stay on the pitch. The referee has to let the game continue. With the original player on the field, this can cause problems for the team. Of course, just ask Chelsea. In the 2023 Carabao Cup final against Manchester City, their goalkeeper Kepa Arizabalaga refused to be replaced by Willy Caballero, who was better at saving penalties. The game went to a shootout, and Chelsea lost. Kepa was fined by the club later. But did you know there's a weird rule about shootouts? What if one team has fewer players than the other because of red cards? You might think that's an advantage for the team with more players. But no, both teams have to use the same number of penalty takers. If one team has 10 players, the other team can only use 10 players too. Same for 9, 8 or 7. But did you know that Ronaldo caught cheating during a match? Don't think man, just click on this video, click it man, it's free.